Hi all and welcome into this iRacing event. We are here once again in a community race. We are doing the two hours of Le Mans. Um, there are three classes, HPD, the GTEs, which uh, myself and my teammate Terry are in. Um, we're in the Porsche 9 uh, 911 RSR. And the other class is actually the Porsche uh, GT4. It was just a popular choice for the community. So they're the cars we picked. Um, it looks like Nico has put it on pole for the HPDs. Terry, my teammate's put it on pole and he's going to be driving for the first hour. Uh, so kudos to him. And Scott in the GT4. Right. Let's jump on and talk to our teammate. Hey, Terry, how you doing, mate? Kudos on pole. Uh -huh. And I'd uh, just like to thank you. Your support's been amazing. Your driving's amazing. And uh, I get to another pole thanks to you. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's my pleasure. This is... Uh... The best place on YouTube for iRacing, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Thanks. I'll pay you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't need to. I'll pay you. <laughs> Killer lap, though, mate. Um, this is going to make this managing this a lot easier. It's easier from the front. You've been telling me that for a long time, but doing it is uh, the harder part. All right. Let me just yeah. um, tell everyone congratulations. Oh, I'm broadcasting on chat. Team. Hi, guys. Everyone, good luck. Uh, Nico, Terry, obviously, my teammate, and Scott, kudos on your polls in relative. And, uh, yeah, thank you all for being here. You're all awesome, and I'm looking forward to getting this done. Good luck, everyone. We'll see how many remember to change off team. <laughs> yeah, good luck, everybody. Cheers, David. Best of luck to you guys as well. Thanks again for setting this up. Yeah, Stephen, mate, thank you. You're the star. You set all these up, and it, uh, they're awesome to watch. And the comments I get back are amazing, so it's all thanks to you, mate. Thank you very much. <clears throat> yeah, thank you. Thank you. Some community you've got going here, mate. Appreciate it. <laughs> thank goodness for a rolling start this time. Oh, thank God. I didn't even think about it. Right. Mm -hmm. Terry, mate, good luck. I'm going to be... Uh... Drinking coffee and kicking back and talking to my webcam. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've definitely got the harder job. Uh, but yeah, yeah we'll see what good luck, mate. The session. All right, I'll switch. Well I'll switch to push the talk so you don't hear me breathing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> good luck, mate. Right, let's switch to cockpit cam. Let's just need that blinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was testing my look left and look right, forgot I didn't remap, I'm sorry. Blinking, blink back. <laughs> <laughs> wow. If I flash you in a race, something really went wrong for you. <laughs> I think you might be broadcasting team just then. I'm not sure. Oh, I think you might be broadcasting to the team there. I think I think it popped up team. That's weird that it resets after I said it already. Yeah, it's done that to me already as well. I think where we jumped between quality and race maybe. Oh, I need more fan. I'm already hot. Yeah, that was on fire. That's why, mate. To close my door and draw the blinds so everybody in the house knows not to come in. <laughs> but then it gets super hot in this office. I'm the exact same. Yeah, I'm the exact same, mate, when I close the door, which I do the exact same for the exact same reasons. I just realized I wasn't pressing push to talk, I was pressing pit limiter, so I think I'll practice that. <laughs> <laughs> Although I won't be using a push to talk while driving, I don't think. Oh, we'll see. Anyway, good luck, mate. Thank you. The track temp is 102 Fahrenheit. The air temp is 65 Fahrenheit. <sighs> so, yeah. We hand over to Terry, my teammate. He's going to do the first hour. Car number 14 in the right column. Uh, he's an excellent driver. He helps me a lot in these GT style cars. This is actually my first time at Le Mans, first time in the uh, 
course. This should give us a whole lap around here. Yeah, that's handy. Very handy. It was kind of screwy on qualifying, though, because I left full tank, thinking it was five laps. Out lap plus four. So I probably could have saved another three tenths if I'd have gone with a couple of few uh, less gallons. Right, yeah, good point. I didn't even think of that. But yeah, it was weird. It was a strange one to prep for. Four lap quality at Le Mans. The difficult one. Yeah. Of course, I guess the end result would have been the same, so whatever. Yep. Split layers. Brian's really fast, so if he tries to pull alongside or get a toe slingshot, I'm just going to follow him and see what happens, unless somebody else catches me. Sure, mate. It's all on you, mate. You call it. Yeah, guys, if you notice, my overlay is a little bit different. I had trouble with SDK moments before the race, so um, unfortunately I had to move away. I didn't want to. Um, I mean, race about looks great, but um, I'm all about that SDK gaming. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if it was an update or something I did wrong, but whenever we jumped in to do a driver swap, it was throwing up problems. I feel like I need to turn. Hope you guys enjoy this race. As I say, this is now our, what, fourth community race? Because we did the... The solo endurance at Watkins Glen. We did the team endurance. We did the the celebratory sub special, and now this one. Okay, here we go. Okay, David, nice and neat. Stay out of trouble. Let's go. I'll leave it on cockpit cam remaining. for now. Well, it's like we get on it. It's going to be chaos. He'll keep it clean. Nice start, mate. Thanks. They got behind. Kind of scary. Two seconds. You don't prep for cold tires through those first couple bends. You know, and corrections. Yeah, you handled it great. That's all we need. It looks like it's Scott Smith behind you now. Is it? I'm seeing. Yep. Yeah, I think it means he's making a move. Okay. I just want to nail my exits and not let him catch the toe. I got them two tenths in that chicane, so as long as I keep them there. It'll, he'll have to really work. Yep, indeed, mate. You got a second. That's great stuff. Scott's doing awesome. Kudos, man. I'm impressed with him. Quite a new member, uh, newish member to Discord, and uh, he's showing how it's done right now. But yeah, thank you all to the community for joining. Um, this Discord community is, uh, blows my mind. Awesome, guys. Right. Just gonna pan the camera back a bit. I want to see Brian. There you go. Oh, he did better through there. No, I hear him modulating his throttle. I think he's got to slow down. Uh, he's modulating. Slow down. Yeah, he's modulating yep. his throttle like crazy. I can hear it. Thank you. Yeah, because I was pushing a little harder there when I saw he gained a tenth. Yeah, he's dropped back to fourth. It's cost him a ton. So all I want to do is avoid slowdowns. We'll be fine. Increase to five point six. 
Alright, sorry. I'll uh, get my concentration commentary back up. I'm just making sure everything's good. And um, there's just a lot to think about. We know there's some fast guys in this race. So I think Terry's going to do the first hour. It's almost a second through there. Yep, plus Brian has really dropped back now. Brian uh, Pigmans is a fast guy. So we was just trying to manage the gap, but it looks like he got slowed down. I'll increase my uh, amount of cars in the relative one sec. That'll make it a bit more fun for us to see. Extend it and see if we can get him to push and make mistakes. Yep, sounds like a plan, mate. It's a great drive from Scott, though. This yeah, point. super impressed. He's shown a. Uh, he's shown he's on it, isn't he? Every time. Oh yeah, and Dominic came out of nowhere last race to finish what third. Yeah. But, uh, looking at the relative, Paul Skip is another. Laying it down. Yeah, I've been impressed with him. He's been, uh, he's right all over my time, unfortunately. I think he's a little bit quicker than me. Smith behind is increasing. It's now 2.6. Yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoy these team events. Slap times, if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm waiting for that to update. My, uh, race lab accident showing it. It's, unless everybody got a zero, uh, didn't get a 1x, uh, got a 1x rather. If you hit the start spotting in the UI, oh, you, you can mean use your. Like in the UI itself and iRacing, then your black box controls work. You can pull up everything. Yeah, good point. Okay, one sec. Got ourselves a race though, I'm not gapping Scott much. Yeah, agreed. So I'm just moving my overlays around because I'm having trouble with SD uh with Race Lab Apps's position. Gotcha. Oh, sorry, I'm not talking. I'm struggling to get my... Uh... I keep thinking they do better in that corner than me because they catch up a couple of tents. Yeah, for sure, no. Entry, but then I gap them on exit. Yeah, you're killing them. Oh, I'm having trouble with getting lap times up. Hold on one sec. The gap to Smith behind is increasing. It's now 3.6. Right, his last lap time, Scott, was a 4.04. Whoa, okay. I'll skip up to third. Nice. Oh, crap. A little out of shape. You're all good. Just avoid those slowdowns. It's <laughs> all my only yep, advice. That's what I do. Stabilize the car, miss the slowdown, but I gave up about four tenths on the last bit. I'm seeing Nico. I think he's in the pits. Uh oh. You been it? Yeah, yeah I'll check. No, perhaps it's fuel. I'm going back through his lap. Strategy? Maybe. Maybe he picked up damage. What kind of strategy is he? 
yeah. only in HPD. And what strategy do you need? Go yeah. fast. Yeah. Oh no, Scott's in, or Steve's in an HPD, huh? Yeah. Yeah, lost it on T1. I think that was him that lost it on T1 or T2, wasn't it? Yeah. He just didn't go at the start. I didn't know whether to pass him or not, but I didn't want to get gobbled up from the rear wing. Yeah, sure. Right, overlay troubles. That's what I had today. So, yeah, apologies for all the uh, chaos. I'm doing my best here. <laughs> Plus, I haven't got to drive for an hour. So I'm just relaxing, letting Terry do all the so hard I'll work. I have to pit in four laps. I've got tires unchecked and everything, but I'll have to double check that when we come in. Okay, I'll double check it as well. Well, I don't know what guys are doing on engine maps. Maybe some of them are trying to save. Yeah, good point. I'll, I'll, I'll get this first stint just doing what you're doing, to be honest, because the uh, then it's going to force them to change their strategies even if they're trying to. Because yeah. they're going to be wondering the same thing. So if you can pull a nice gap, pit for fuel, and then yeah, manage a gap maybe if you want to, you know, have a play on some of the straights if you want, just to modulate the gap, you know, keep it at a nice distance, and yeah, play it like that if you want. We don't want to be pitting two seconds from the end is the ideal thing. <laughs> right. I just moved it to fuel mix four to see what happens. All right, I'll watch the gap. Because we could all have some kind of a gentleman's agreement, but all it takes is one or two guys to stretch it. Nobody really talked about it, so I'll just watch the gap. Yeah, great. If you can hold uh, you know, a small loss per lap and massive fuel save, it would make a big difference. Right. How will that work when I jump in the car? Will I have your settings that you left on, or...? Yes. Okay, just remind me. But I can change it when I am okay. coming down pit road. All right, mate. I'm still gapping them on mix four, so I think we'll be okay. I think when that rabbit disappears out of view, and they're left to their own, you know, breaking points and whatnot, gets a little tougher. Yeah, agreed. So Brian's in fifth in class. What's he turning? Four ten, four oh one. Wow. Can you damage the car, I wonder, or just keep getting slowdowns? Yeah, pots, I would assume slowdowns from those numbers. With the lower fuel map, that section's sure easy peasy. It's still put a second on Scott. Just putting. Yeah, so he's right on Dominic. So he's battling with him. Dominic's also for really fast, so that's his biggest problem right now. Yeah. Okay. They're, what, 5C15 back? Just done a yep. 3, 55.1. You're the fastest man on track, mate. Well, in class. Right. HPDs don't count. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right, sorry guys, I think I've got a finger on the map. didn't seem to change much. I've still got 3.9 to pit this time, and I still would have been out. I guess if I crank it another, I get another Smith lap, maybe. Now Let's try it. Okay. Fuel mix six. All right. Yeah, so we're just trying to manage fuel, manage the strategy, get this in order. This is our first team race together. Um, Le Mans, two hours, is a long lap. A lot can go wrong. So, um, yep, yeah, just a bit nervous, so apologies for not being super uh, chatty, but I'm um, feeling a lot be comfortable. Too much in iRacing's calculation. Okay, right, yeah, keep an eye on it, otherwise just bin it. So we're looking at fuel saving now, because we've got the lead. But I'm going to need a lead. Uh, because I am not as fast as Terry here. Well, my best lap time is like a and at mid mix six. I'm kind of holding at five seconds, so we'll see if he catches on the straight. I think he will. Yeah, it could just be your exits better though. But yeah, sure. Yeah. 
super impressed by the race he's driving so far. Yeah, really. Um, he's running uh, 356.1, 356.7. Okay. So I'm about a second, second and a half faster. Yep, you're running 54.7, 55.1. Yeah, apologies for the overlay mess. I'm not used to running um, this different overlay, and uh, it just messed with my preparation. I move this thing up to mix nine to see if I can stretch it to full three laps. I'm at 3.2 now. So you think is it's, that... this is worth it at the moment? I, I think it's going to give us a whole extra lap, which around here is no joke. Yeah, indeed, mate. Right. Yeah, give it a try. I'll keep an eye on uh, Scott's lap times, and you're but at the moment you're um, you're anything holding. you try. Yeah, you're holding everything. Brian has cleared Dominic. Smith behind his now. Oh, okay. Point four. He's yeah, got he's coming. Four, four till pole. He's catching. Yeah, four, uh, four seconds to pole. He's got to find first of all. Whew. So, to our race, this is all practice for our community, for um, fielding teams in the 24 hour of Mon. So even myself, I'm very new here. Uh, um, so yeah, I'm a little bit more nervous than normal, and uh, I've got a brilliant teammate, so I'm hoping not to let him down. Um, but yeah, I only learnt the track three days, three, four days ago. I've uh, been running as many laps as I can, and I'm new to this I'm Porsche. I'm Mix 11, Max. Trying to see if I can stretch it. Yeah, he's pulled four tenths in the last few sectors this time. Yeah, he's pulled us 1.4 seconds on you. Okay. Well, I'm at 3.0 across in the line, so I'm going back to like mix two. Yeah, because I'm going to need a gap, especially if I've got Brian coming after me and Dominic. <laughs> Well, yeah, and it's not as drastic as, like, the GT3s. That was my fear, that somebody would be out here for nine laps while we're running five, and it's not, so I can just go with it. If you're comfortable, you could modulate higher numbers through the corners and lower on the straights. No, it's a knob on my left button box, so I have to take my hand off the wheel to do it. <laughs> no, then. <laughs> and that's a bad idea. <laughs> yep. I struggle with push to talk, let alone know anything else. I settled on fuel mix two. I still got 2.8 left, and we'll see. Okay, Brian's yeah, catching pole. My last lap time was a 59. A 59? Yeah, well, that, well you think yeah, that was all fuel? Oh, yeah, because I didn't do any mistakes. It was just. All right, yeah, that's, uh, that's where that gap's come but from. But I then. saved, like, half a lap of fuel and here that's a lot true all right yeah just remember i need to jump in and i'm <laughs> about as nervous as it gets <laughs> yeah i mean if you want me to just burn it up i can leave it on zero and what happens happens if we find guys but matter of fact that's what i'll do right now i'm on zero and then whatever happens Smith, if they pit me later then we'll adjust Yep, I'm happy to manage it, but yeah, we we did lose a chunk there on the previous, but previous because yeah, that was from five points. Maybe. Yeah, but you're pulling again now, okay. four point one. Yeah, yeah. I'll let you get your head down. Nico's going to be coming through soon. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so uh, we're just trying to manage fuel. We really want to win. I would love nothing I still more. Two point four fuel left, so I still. If they all pit before I do, then we'll know that it worked. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Yes, yeah, so we're just trying to get on top of and this fuel I situation. Just yard it or run like mix two consistently and not be that extreme with it. Yep, you're putting huge amounts on Scott right now, though. Last couple of corners. Yeah, back to full power. I was thinking of the fuel strategy, but the track is so damn long, it has to be extreme to get another lap, so I don't know. Yeah, it's tough to decide. We've got managed you traffic. Just so. first overall. Yeah, Nico. Yeah, so yeah, that's right because um, 
Steve had the problem at the beginning and Nico had to pit, didn't he? Yeah. But yeah, Nico's coming at the speed of light right now. Yeah. And I'm seeing a minute half up, you've got so much traffic, but obviously we'll get to that when we get to it. Got it. Yeah, I see the uh, GT4s seem to be going through the Porsche S's right now. Right, I'm a track map short of a track map right now with uh, SDK uh, kicking it, killing out on me. Alright, so 20 minutes in guys, I hope you're enjoying this race. I'll be jumping in at the hour mark. Um, yeah, really excited. Um, <laughs> but, you know, Terry pulled it and is dominating, so I really want to hold on to what he's uh, created. Because uh, Brian and, well, all the guys are quick, but I'm super nervous about um, Brian's single lap pace. Because I know he's dangerous. But it's all fun. This is, um, you know, we do these community races to learn. We've, uh, we've set, we've set very low fuel. Scott just pitted. Oh, I saw Nico come and got nervous. You're fine, mate. Take it easy. Scott just pitted. Okay, so we got an extra lap. Brian is 8.2 back, so you're good, mate. All right, should we watch cockpit cam for a bit? Because that's what I love. Watch the master at work. Go behind, really the gap's uh, now. I gotta come in this lap because I'm 1.7. I might be able to stretch it, but yeah, you're, um, it's, that's that's your call, mate. I imagine everyone's going to pit, but we'll soon find out the answer when you do pit. Yeah. I'm just going to go over the see. Because he cracked under eight. Yeah, he's nine now. I'm thinking it wasn't fuel saving Brian and Dominic were doing. I think it was slowdowns, personally, because their time just jolted away. Uh, it was too fast for it to be fuel saving, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's ten something now. I'm coming in this lap. I've got tear off or fast repair unchecked, tires unchecked. Because we don't need to do burn any of those, save them in case they matter. is catching me while he's saving fuel I will bow down for sure just uh, take it easy on entry we don't, we've got nothing to gain Okay. So, uh, yeah, these team events, I find it very difficult to communicate with the camera because obviously it's not just me I have to worry about. I'm not saying I'm worried about Terry, but uh, the mentality, the questions, like just balancing it all, it's just something new for me, that's all. Whereas when I run on my own, I do my own thing, but you guys seem to love the last uh, team event, so I wanted to do one more. Terry should be boxing.
Watch your speed limit in the pits. The pit lane speed limit is 60 kilometers per hour. We don't have that data. Stuff, mate. How's the tyres feeling? Good. Great. Good. Good. Coming Coming like now. Yeah. Yep. Dominic does as well. Good. Yep. So. It looks like Mark stayed on, but you know he's in as well, right? Meters. We're good. Good. Fifty meters. Stay Great stop, off. mate. Thank you're all, you're all clear. Thank you. So there's about 10 seconds going in, so we are at the next start finish. We can gain a little bit there, maybe. Maybe it's a bit early to sell. Just keep with it. Traction control back down. Yeah, Brian Pickman's is almost almost thirty oh, seconds back. Oh. Yeah. Okay, it's Scott that's close. Yeah. Yeah. So you're so fine managing that. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. Brian is a uh, yeah thirty odd seconds back. I'm showing ten on my relative. Eleven. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm not used to this. <laughs> I'm not used to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ten, ten point five. Sorry. Check Brian or Scott's lap times. When did he did he come in a lap earlier and he made up all that ground? Well, he did, huh? Because we said Scott was pitting a lap before, so he's right yep. about. Okay, so it shook out normally. I gained time on him. Yeah, we're good. Like Plus, okay. he has the risk of late in the race having to pit just before the end, because yep. we that math's difficult to work out right now. Yeah, because our first stop came after twenty minutes. So I can have my third stop as a driver change for you. Okay, yep. Alright, so Scott is still leading the GT4s, kudos. Uh, Nico's leading the HPDs, and Terry in the Samsoid racing oh, car is fighting. killing it. Pardon, mate, sorry. Looks like Paul and Scott are fighting and Brian's going to join in the fun. Yeah, it looks that way. Us. Yeah, even Dominic will get in on that pack if they uh, battle. Yep. They're all within a second of each other, all three. Yep, it's time to lay it down and let the fighting commence behind us. Yep, for sure. So we're what we're aiming at, the 40 mark around that for your pit stop. We'll see performance from fuel then. Mm -hmm. Alright, so track temp 104. And as I say, this is just getting all of our community as many possible. We've got um, quite Our a few races. Feels pristine. Perfect. Track temp's up a bit. 104. Yep, so William's also doing really well. Uh, he's a really new guy um, to the Discord. I'm gapping all of them, so... Yeah, they're fighting. Just what I want to hear. Yeah, it's music to my ears. He's a good driver, is Terry. <laughs> As you probably noticed from the nine second gap we've got. Just hope I can um, do the team proud when we come to jump me in the car in 32 minutes. But I'm nervous. For sure. What are you running? Zero fuel mix. Or yes. two. Okay, right, perfect. Doing well. Because I think it's pretty clear everybody's just going for it. And I don't know that there's a huge benefit, so maybe 
I'll run zero this whole time and see when I have to stop. And that'll tell us what to do on my last stint. Yep, for sure. So you're running, what, 1x at the moment? Is that all? Zero. I didn't even go off track. Ah, well, when you dodged Nico, I assumed you went off. No, perfect. Nope, saved it. <laughs> Alright, so zero instant points. I think it's 25. And then a drive through. Yep, 25. So yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Um, I love these uh, community races. They're some of my favourite iRacing events that I've ever had. This one's a little bit different because we are uh, have got a nice gap. But there's lots of traffic management, fuel management that will be needed to done during the race. So it's always a good idea to keep an eye on all that. We're about to hit the 30 minute mark. Alright, we're a quarter into the race mate, well done. The gap to nice. Smith behind is in Crixit, it's now 9.1. Yep, it's looking good. Scott and William are fighting. They're close on track. The guys behind us side by side. <laughs> oh, and Paul Skip isn't okay. So it's not even Brian. No, the three of them are running a uh, line of stone. Nice. I hope there's no incidents, and I hope they keep it clean and just keep dropping back. <laughs> yeah, agreed. <laughs> You're driving great, mate. Keep it up. Thank you. Yeah, Terry's a machine. Proud to have him as my teammate. This is my second ever teammate. Uh, so Mick was my first and we won. And that was um, GT3 around Watkins Glen. Hour, no, two hour, two hour endurance, yep. So yeah, if I'm two for two on team racing endurance events, I will be uh, one happy man. All right, let's go check out Scott's and Brian's battle. Got a nice 10 second gap. This is looking fantastic. We've got traffic we're catching. Black cars. Um, but. Oh, 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 oh. There's enough track. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Whew. Ooh, baby. Yeah, well handled, okay. mate. Very well handled. I tried to move my brake bias no, into an entrance of a corner. That was horrible. No, you're fine. You, you handled that perfectly. Behind is now 9.9 seconds. What's the left side of the car look like? Yeah, I'm just checking. Feels okay. Yeah, I don't even see a scratch, mate. All the patron names are looking good. <laughs> okay. You almost scratched off your own name. 
<laughs> that would be fitting. You know, behind us they heard, well, the flag looks like it's crouched. And they're like, yes, go get it. <laughs> yes, mate. No, you handled that perfectly. And that's when it really matters, isn't it? He handled that great. Note to self, do not adjust black boxes and look at knobs heading into a sweeper. <laughs> yeah, you learned it. That's fine, you still got a massive gap. They're still fighting back there. And if they keep fighting, they're going to bring Dominic to the group as well. How far back is he from them? He is seven behind them, six and a half behind them. Okay. And he'll be there quick if they fart around. Oh, I got GT Force coming up. I see him. Yeah, Scott and Mark. Oh, that's a good little race. William Love, Mark Seller, Scott McKillop, and they're all like three seconds apart, two and a half. Yeah. Yeah, William's in the lead now. Oh, no, he was in the lead, wasn't he? No, it was Scott. No, yeah, so. William. No, William William's taking the lead since we last checked. 0.8 KI rating, and he's a lead in the GT4 pack. It's impressive. Ha, oh, that's got to be fun. Yeah, kudos, um, well, all the runners, but um, William and Scott, they're having a nice little battle. Right, so we're catching lap traffic. We'll switch to cockpit cam. So we can see it as it happens. The gap to Smith behind is now 8.6. Catch these guys at the long part of the track. We're catching the slower cars now. All right, it's all good. I trust Terry. I trust Hello. the GT4s. Well, thank you, but that was dangerous. Nice. Sketchy. Yeah, don't worry about them catching you. They need to clear those three cars as well, yeah? Yep, so yeah, and they, it's going to be harder for them because they'll be battling while they do it. Yeah, I hope no incidents, but I'm glad they're going to have a harder time. Looks like I still got about three to go before my next pit stop. Tires still feel good. Excellent. Okay, Paul lost out big time during the transition. Okay. So did Brian. They are two and a bit seconds behind Scott Smith now. Scott Smith did come through unscathed. He's a uh, 6.7. Yeah. yeah, but the other two got. Spot. Yeah, but the other two really got dropped back. They're three second. Uh, you know, three seconds almost now behind Scott. Okay, so God, I can't say enough about Scott's drive pushing me to the limit trying to hold the gap. Yeah, I'm just hope I can hold him off. <laughs> I'm gonna check his lap times actually. Yeah, he's banging in 350 mid mid 356 every time he gets in fresh air. Smith behind is now 7.0. Um, your times are. Times are. Yeah, you've hit a. F uh, it's hard to see because your pit stop phase, but you were 355 low. Yeah. But then you had a. Yeah, obviously a lot slower laps because of the pit stops and the traffic. Okay. Don't know whether I need to pick it up or not. My main focus is just trying to maintain, but I got some more to push if I need to. 
All right, we'll just watch them. Yeah, keep it, keep it just uh, maintained at the moment. Will you? If Paul and Brian catch back up to Scott, you'll have the same problem again as last time. I haven't watched the replay, but I'm not seeing Brian banging the times I've seen him banging, so maybe he's got a bit of damage. Or it was his time was a light fuel. Oh yeah, good point. Plus, he actually does have fastest lap of the race in GTE right now, so I'm yeah, you're probably right. He's got fastest lap. Oh yeah, four. What? Wait, oh, gotcha. What's his fastest lap? Uh, Fifty-four two. Gotcha. Oh, these bends. The push curves. Yeah, I'm just nervous to try and push it that hard. <laughs> yeah, you're doing great, mate. Paul Skip's had a problem. He's dropped back behind Dominic, so he's 17 behind you now. 18 behind you. Oh, man. Yeah. Slow down, maybe. Yeah, possibly. Smith behind is increasing. It's now 8.1. That was okay, a awesome. 56.5 seconds. Hope you guys are enjoying this video. Smack the like button if you are. Really, really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you very much. Um, I'm enjoying these team events, but I do get nervous, and there's a lot of data to mull With over. Last stint hold, Scott should pit this lap. Yep, good point. I'm hoping my fuel count kicks in when I uh, start doing. Otherwise, I've got the uh, F3 box. If not, you know the, the black box. I'm using. Okay. I use Race Labs uh, relatives and then switch over to the I Racing fuel. Okay. I don't see Paul Skip at all now. I assume he pitted. Maybe. How's the car feeling? Fine. Just a little bit slower. I have to hold it a little bit longer, letting it roll. So I'm about half a second down from my fastest now, but I didn't burn off the tires in the first few laps, you know? I just wanted it to be stable for an hour. Yep. Because at these 100 degree temps, if you just send it in the first few laps, you're going to be paying the back half. Yeah, agreed. So are we still taking tyres on the uh, on your third, or what's the plan? Oh yeah, tyres for yep. the driver swap, and then don't take them on your next two, yep. as long as you drive within yeah. so uh, Smith behind is increasing. Now yep. Nine point Scott Smith by himself or with somebody else? He was in fresh air, but uh, Brian is catching him rapidly. Scott's bits, I think Scott's dropped back. They were both lapping in fresh air, but Scott seemed to have sorry, just lost a second driving. and a half. Is it him or does he have a teammate? Who, sorry? Scott, does he have a teammate? Or is it just going to be him the whole time? I believe it's him. I think we're the only GTE team, which is, uh, yeah. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I think we are. But it's fun. Indeed. Puts us at a disadvantage, but whatever. Oh no! Pete had a disconnect. Ah, oh, what car is he driving? I don't know. I can't remember. Yeah, I think he's in a GTE because I don't see him in the GT4 standings. Yeah, it looks like Jerome and Pete had internet problems.
crap, forgot where I was on the track for a second. That's dangerous. You're all good. Let's see if Scott comes in the pits here. Yep, I'll keep an eye. His mine is next stop. I've got a hunch they'll follow, uh, they'll follow each other in for the tow. Unless they just want to get out of the traffic. Scott has pitted, Brian hasn't. Okay, good. So that's what we expected. So I can leave it on map zero. Scott's a lap off. And the other two were right with me. Yeah, plus you're at 44 minutes. So the numbers suggest that we will not need to pit near the end. We will be just... We'll be good, fuel-wise. Yeah. All right, biggest gap of the race, mate. You've got 12 seconds. the fast repair because of that side swipe. Okay. The track temps increasing. It's now 106 Fahrenheit. You're pulling away from the guy behind. The gap's now oh, The track's getting hotter seconds. too. That's another reason it's I'm letting it coast a little while. It's 106. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Okay, so what we got a report? Big gap. Scott's actually behind Brian Bedard, so I don't know if it was just Brian's, the other Brian, Bedard. Yeah. Yeah, he's ahead he's of Scott. So right, you reckon Brian's still got a pit? Oh, somebody went off there. A big set of tire tracks outside. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Okay, so what, we're on lap 12 of an estimated lap 30, 46 minutes in. Terry's going to be pitting this lap. And then these next pit stop, or I'll be jumping in the car. So I did the first stint last time in the team race. This time I'm doing the second stint. Um, I think second stint's a little bit more nerve-wracking because first stint is, is what it is. Second stint, you cross the finish line. Here. Pardon me, sorry. I want to bang in this in lap to try and build up a little gap before the pits and see if we can yep. extend it after stop. I'm pushing a little harder than normal. You pull it away. The gap behind is now 13 seconds. Nice. Terry's <laughs> killing it right now. Yeah, 15 seconds at the end of this here. Yep. That's when it shows on the relative. Look out for the pit speed limit. Box in 460 meters. We haven't got that data. Alright, see what Air Brian's off, doing. Fuel, no tires. Perfect, mate. Adjustments. Not traction control back up a click and mind the gap. Oh, Brian's not pitting. Yeah, Brian's not pitting. 100 meters. I could, it was close. Yeah, like I could have gone to a different fuel map and made it. No, it's fine. So we'll see how it shakes out at the end. Yeah, I'm not worried. Gap's big. He's, it's on him, the pressure, not us. Behind 
behind is pitting. Dominic pitted behind you. Okay. Look out for Slacker, he'll be coming through soon, not yet, but soon. It is clear, watch the white line. Okay. Okay, so we will track Brian's um, difference because uh, he ran it a lap later. 40, 50, now 10, day 50. Yeah, we'll see. Brian would have to save a lot of fuel to make a big difference in this race, I think, now, but obviously, we're keeping an eye on it. Yeah, great stuff, mates. Keep doing what you're doing. Everything's perfect right now. <laughs> See the gain about a lot of seconds on Scott behind us. Yeah. I hope Steve catches me on the straight. Yeah, look at his speed, he might be damaged. Um, yeah, on, he's not really yeah, on the relative, he doesn't seem to be uh, pulling. Yeah. The captain, Smith, behind is now 15 seconds. Brian's running a good race though, I'm impressed. He's um he's had to battle a lot of guys to get this P2 spot right now. Yeah. Well, P1 for now. Yeah, true. <laughs> See how it shakes out at the end of the next lap, because he'll have my outlap, his outlap. Yeah, for sure, exactly. Unless he stretches it two more, then we're in trouble. Yeah, then we'll have to start thinking about something, but Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just need a gap. That's all I can really manage. I'm not a. Uh, you guys, you and Brian are banging in laps I can only hope to do in this condition of temp. But I'll try. I'm going to do my best. Just don't push it too hard. Dominic, Paul, yeah, I don't know what happened to Paul. Definitely dropped back. Nerve wracking stuff. I've never had this so much, this much anticipation before jumping in the car. Pretty good strategy by Brian though. He's forcing me to push it even harder. Yeah, okay, he's coming in. Yeah, he's pitting now. Don't overdrive, just do what you do. Should be pretty sizable if I'm already coming up on the chicanes. Okay, David, there's a car exit in the pit. Heads up. Is he still in the stall? I'm um, just checking. I think you've got Two. Jan X in. Just be careful. Okay. Yeah, he's still in the stall. Scott's past Brian. Brian's... Brian must be taking tyres? He's 40 seconds back. Yeah, maybe. 
Uh, Dominic's going to pass him in a few seconds. It looks like Dominic is. He's still yep. grey. Yeah, so... Because if he's really chewing him up, trying to go for lap times to catch up, that's what I didn't Captain want to try and do. Yeah, he's 45 back, so I assume tyres. Yeah. It's not a penalty. Well, and if he does another tyre change, assuming you don't need to do one, that uh, will offset our driver swap. Yeah, I won't need to, yeah. I'll be fine for the hour. Yeah. Because it handles beautifully, it's just can't drive it like a gorilla. <laughs> Yep, I'm just going to be uh, managing that gap to Scott, I think, to be honest. I know he's a quick guy, um, but I'm just going to try and keep a good average, and that should balance it out. I mean, end of the day, 16 and a half seconds is no joke. That's a, that's a chunk of change. Yeah. All right, Terry, I'm going to jump out for two seconds. You will be... Uh, Front and center on YouTube. It's all yours. One second. <laughs> no. no pressure. None indeed. Good luck. Good. good. Catches UT4 on the straight for once. Scott is super impressive with what he's been driving lately. Okay, so I won't jump on him while he's in the Porsche curves because uh, it's a nerve wracking little section. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. <laughs> we got past the GT4 in a good spot. Scott McCullough was uh, very predictable. Good, good. Appreciated. It's such a hidden skill, like when you can show your intention as a slower car. You know, coming in because it was in that fast right before the tight left. Well done, David. And, uh, this is terrific. He exactly. just pulled out wide and yeah. clearly showed what he was going to do. Yeah, that's really good. It's super easy. Alright, just cleaning up the overlays because I've just realised I actually need to use them while driving so I thought I'd just change them now from looking good to being good. <laughs> gotcha. Good call. So did Slacker not catch you? I assume that he must have damage because I see him still 38 yeah. back. Yep, he's got something wrong. Yeah. Oh, good point. Yeah. That'd be a he shame. A problem there, but Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, he's catching. Okay, good. So yeah, we're on the same cycle. found a nice happy pace for worn tires in this and it's still 
gap in P2. Yep, perfect. I'm going to need every bit of that gap. Doing the best. <laughs> Smith behind is now 18 seconds. Oh, just uh, sucking myself up to get back in this car. Feels like I haven't drove it in an hour. Oh, wait, I haven't. <laughs> It's the biggest problem, I think, being the uh, second stint driver. Just getting yourself in the zone, ready. So I'm just going to watch Terry's next lap and get a feel for it and remind myself everything I need to do. I say I only bought this track, but no excuses. I put in the practice. But yeah, I bought this track four days ago and this car four days ago, so. I love this Porsche RSR though. Just past halfway. Yep, whatever you're doing, keep doing it. You're almost 19 seconds ahead on my relative. Racing show on 20.6. Yes, sir. 56 flat. And old ass tires. Oop, boop, sorry. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Scott Turner. Smith is gaining on you. The gap is mid fifty sevens. Fifty seven seven, fifty seven three, fifty seven six. Perfect, so we're in a good spot. Yep. Somehow Steve is still thirty seconds behind me. I don't know what's going on with that car. Yeah, it's a shame. Yeah. Oh no, Jan. Received through quick air. Alright, obviously you're catching a GT4, you're probably seeing it. Yep, I see him. You're gapping Scott. So at the moment, uh, you're handing me a Christmas present. This will be two for two on Team Race Victories. So I'll just retire now, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be uh, a good record. A swap, that's going to be tough. Pardon, sorry? With them not having a driver swap, that's going to be hard. I know, yeah. Yeah. Slower class car ahead. Perfect spot to catch him. Oh, God, pick a side. Whew. Down the center of the track is tough. Yeah, well handled. He's going to go low and saw his weight shift and moving right. I'm like, ah! Is the driver swap really 40 seconds? I think so. But obviously we're mitigating it because we're taking tyres and fuel, so it's not... We're only losing maybe seven, I think, something like that. We hope. Yeah, it didn't feel that long when we did the last driver swap. I wasn't. It didn't feel like I was just sat there waiting, like everyone just okay. going past. I can't remember though. Okay. I've still got three laps. I'm gonna dial up fuel mix eight and see if I can stretch it to three or four laps. Smith behind is now 19 seconds. Uh, yeah, Unless you just want pure pace. Yeah, I could do with pace right now because I don't want to be uh, in the pack like full, if you know what I mean. Yep. I would love okay. some fresh laps. 
Because I haven't practiced in an hour, that's the hardest thing. <laughs> yeah, oh god, sorry. No, you're fine. You're doing great. Yeah, Slacker looks like he's down on top speed. Yeah, but he got my scar, so... I wish I could drive this car like Terry does. So yeah, I would definitely be behind Brian, uh, but ho hopefully only for one or two laps, and then he'll have to come in. I don't think his extension is going to really help at the end of the race. Uh, I don't think the math's going to weigh in that much. Thanks, crew chief, but it's not me driving, it's Terry. So we're looking at the largest gap in the race now. Duty four on a straight. I think I will breathe it. Yeah, perfect. Back on. Yeah, Biggest gap of the race I'm seeing now. Awesome. Slower Great job. Ahead. He's the class leader for these guys. I saw you stealing a little bit of toe from him. <laughs> yeah, he was good, showing his intention. I yeah, that. perfect. Brian just did a next lap. Okay, Brian just did a fifty-four-seven. Okay. You've yeah, pulled a gap on Scott. Yeah, you've pulled a gap on Scott. Alright, time for me to watch your laps and uh, p picture me driving. <laughs> Get in the zone. Oh, yep, yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying this race. I love down here down in the comments what you think of this team racing stuff and uh, apologies for the overlay mess as I say um, I always use STK and I was just having problems uh, today the relative kept uh, anyway it doesn't matter I'll work with them we'll get to the bottom of it could have been something my end Sorting the overlays, getting ready to drive. Like them a certain way, so obviously I've never used these ones before, so uh, just need to make sure I'm all ready. Great stuff, mate. Have a Thank couple you. of those, and I'll see what I can do. 
I think I'm coming in this lap. Okay. Right, David, we're this way. This is perfect. I could make it too. What, but last, like, what about if the fight? It was almost four second deficit last time. That's my only worry. Well, no, I dialed it back to ten. I could probably take it to five or something and make another lap. Smith, right. See what you can do. Now. Smith just pitted, so. Gap to Brian is, um, hold on. Overlays, man. It's Let's really steal some tow here. Nice. 1.7 laps. I'm seeing 44 to Brian. I'm not sure what happened to Scott Smith. I think it must have been a drive through penalty. No, I pitted. He pitted last lap. He was a lap ahead of us. Ah, uh, okay. On schedule. Yeah, I'm seeing him a minute 37 down. I'm 1.4 laps left on fuel. If I can get that, keep that to 1.1 when I come to the pit lane, I'm going to stay out one more. Okay, great stuff. Alright, so far we're controlling the race. Yeah, so far we're controlling it really well. I'm super impressed with Terry. I knew I would be. What Race Lab Apps is doing with the gap here. Got 1.1, not enough save. Great stuff. Heads up, there's a car exit in the pits. Still 1.1. 1 .1. Your last lap time was at Great. 3.59.4. Conserve a little just in case. So will I have to apply the pit limiter when I jump back in the car? Or will it still be applied, do you think? I would double check it. Okay. No. Um, can you give me 57.8 brake bias when you pit? No, don't worry about it right now, but just when you pit. Yep. Thanks, man. Gotcha. 
traction control settings? Uh, whatever it was when I tested it. Uh, I don't know what that is. I, mine's like five and three right now. Um, I don't remember what the stock was. I think it was six and six by default, but yeah, I'll take it if it was lower value. Yeah, the lower value makes sure it's more stable. Okay, I trust you. Right, you got thir uh, 40 to Brian. Okay. But we're going to be taking tyres and a driver. But he'll have to pit the lap after us, I think. Or maybe the same uh, one if you extended, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, is get us back on schedule with him. Perfect. Yeah, great thinking, mate. Still got six uh, point six laps left, so I should be fine. I hope so. <laughs> I don't uh, want to. I don't want to have to go pull you in pit road. <laughs> oh no, no, we're good. Get out we're and push. And half of them are still, so. All right, track temp one hundred five. Yeah. Cloud cover brought it down on the hair. Knocking the fuel mix back a hair. I'm back down to. Good faster car behind. Three. He's racing us for position. Don't expect a blue flag. Okay. I'll take a zero, please. Alright, slacker behind. Yep, I see him. Nice one. Watch your speed. Nice drive, mate. Are you right to tick tires? Or do you need to set? Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm setting them, so I'm putting it three and two on the traction control. Okay, and all tire change. Map is zero. Yep, engine yep. map zero. Fast repair shouldn't be needed, but. Okay, whatever. might as well. Yep. 100 meters. Right, you're almost there. 50 meters. All right, man. We don't have enough data. It's all in your hands. <sighs> Thanks, man. Right, I'm seeing 21 for the driver spot. <clears throat> 20. Brian didn't pit. All right, tires are going on. Brian's going around another lap. Yep. Here we go. It's service time, what's now? Fuel? Oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. How long till? It's just going up. It goes. Yeah, now. Oh, you just dropped, never mind. Yep. It takes it's clear. Push. Okay, I just need to shake the nerves. Damn. I just need to shake these nerves. Yeah, I thought we'd just settle in. Right, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to be quiet for a few laps. Just where I get used to the car. Okay, yeah, sorry, I've just got a bit of jitters, so. Work it out. 
Yep, I'm back to push the top, so unless you need something, let me know. Okay, thanks, man. Smith is getting closer. The gap is now 19 seconds. Also coke tires. <laughs> Almost forgot about that. Yeah, definitely something to keep in mind. I'm keeping an eye on Brian, see what's going on there. Okay. Somebody just pinned it in the hard right we had to avoid. He should be coming in this lap because he's still turning 55s and crap on new tires, and so I don't think he's conserving unless he's just a master. Good. Okay. Okay, I need to shake these nerves. 40 minutes. Le Mans a very new track to me and it means a lot. So, that's the feeling I'm having right now. If you're wondering why I feel so overwhelmed, I'm overwhelmed. slow down cooking it too wide. Who did Brian? Yeah he was way off track in that last left before the shot. Okay. Was the How am I doing with Scott? Is now He's pit road. Brian's on pit road. Scott is just coming on to the last left. Looks like he's 19 and a half back. Pitted two laps ago, so we still good for a while. Okay. I'll tell you when Brian's off the jack, so if he even gets jacked up, I'll tell you when he's leaving. Okay, David, there's a faster car bearing down on you. He's the class leader. He's Thanks, going Maris. super slow. Who, Brian? I think he ran out of fuel trying to coast into the stall. Okay. Yeah, he just got parked. Oh, he just exited. And now he's back in. He couldn't make it to his stall, so he's going to have a tug. Oh my god. Was that Nico? Poor guy. That was Nico. Oh, unlucky. Right, I lost some time to Scott, but I'll manage it. Yeah, you still got 16. Just maintain. Don't don't overdrive it because that'll get near it. Okay. Just shook me up a little bit as all. <laughs> yeah, that was bugger factor. Brian Pigmans is still in his stall. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Yeah, he obviously took a toe. He took a toe. That's what I was afraid of. I'm like, if I stretch yeah. an extra lap, so maybe when I did, he wanted to stretch an extra, but he was crawling down. Yeah, that's a shame. He ran a good race. He really did. He made us. Yeah, uh, he made us be quiet and nervous for a long time. <laughs> the yeah, sure. Now it's back to Scott making us nervous. Six. Brian just got back on track. He's in the turn three. Okay.
do you want to manage my fuel? You can do it from there, because I'm not used to... I, I don't have my SDK fuel calc I'm used to. It's up to you. I can look yeah, after it if you want. Yeah, you're fine. you got a full five laps. I can actually change everything for you from here. I became crew chief, so I can choose tires and everything. Except for your traction. Your onboard stuff, I can't touch. Your brake, bash, brake uh, bias and your traction control, but everything else I can handle. Okay, excellent. It really didn't work with me when I was doing it with Mick. It just kept blinking out. It was broken, so just makes me nervous doing it for you. Double check it. All right. Just double check settings when you come on pit road. I seem to be holding st uh, the guy behind, so... Yeah, about 14 and a half. You're in perfect shape. The slowdown was really only just avoiding Nico, but I'm just glad I got through. in a couple of seconds doesn't matter. Okay. I mean, we don't have any more driver changes coming up, so as long as you can not change tires. Thanks, man. You're leading. Sector 1 is 2.6. Off the pace. Sector 2 time is OK. Sector 3 is 2.4 seconds. Off the pace. His last lap time was 56.2. Smith is getting closer. The gap's now 13 seconds. feeling a little bit more confident now and uh yeah i just lost a lot and uh yeah i'm good got through the nerves got through nico so we're good let's keep doing what you're doing is a awkward message but thank you see 1.2 laps on my calc Your time, even if Scott catches you, yep. Paul Skip will have a tough time catching you. The next car back is a lap down to us, so we're podium as long as you just keep it. Thanks, man. It's great to hear. Thanks for this opportunity. You drove fantastic, mate. Win as a team, lose as a team. Let's do it.
That's watching Scott's gaps. I don't know if he's taken tyres yet at any point. I could be wrong. Check his laps, hang on. Okay. My pit stops were about... Four thirty three, four thirty four without tire. Gap to Smith behind is now thirteen seconds. He's got a four thirty six on lap twelve and a five oh two on eighteen, so I do think he took tires on eighteen. Okay. doing you because guys do some crazy things when they try and chase down the lead. Okay. Yeah, you were 58.1, he was 57.1, so at that, la at that rate, we still got to do what, 14 laps? With 13, 12 laps to catch us, there's not that kind of time. Okay, good point. Yep, perfect. squirrely through one and two he might be pushing so you are driving it perfectly thanks man just trying to keep on the tarmac at the moment i'll worry about him yeah later but yeah i'm just at the moment it's good to hear and uh i'm saying to keep it on this gray stuff yep just yeah, what you're doing is perfect so if you can if that was a comfortable pace of 58 you're perfect right thanks man He can see you at the end of the straight, so it might turn him into a dog on a mail truck and overcook something. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are enjoying. Sorry, I'm giving absolutely everything. This is a big deal for me. Second team race ever. First time in this car. First time at this track. I didn't know this track before three days ago, so it feels like there's a lot on my plate. And I don't want to let my teammate down. He works really hard. I'm showing sure three laps to next pit stop. Okay. from the end so I'm thinking one more stop will put us to, to check okay car feels great you looked after it <laughs> it feels fantastic yeah, that was, that was a great line through that corner thanks He just got an off track that might be a slowdown for that wide. Okay. 
He was petting, so he must have. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, because he was catching Ashimi cut then. Yep, now just manage it, stay within yourself, and we got this. Smith behind his pit. And he can't make it from here. And if we pit, like, if my math is right, we should be able to make it on one stop. He won't. <laughs> so, double pick yourself. Okay. Make sure you stay clean. Alright. I show 2.8 laps of fuel from here, so you're probably going to come in next time. I don't want to be able to trying to save. All right, I'll do whatever you say, though. My head's full right now, so if you've got a good idea. Well, it's it's really close this way because two more. Two more. Yep, laps. dial it's it down if you need. Oh no, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Just two more laps around is going to put us inside of a minute or an hour and 40. And as long as we're inside of an hour and 40, that's five laps. We should be fine. Great to hear, mate. If you can, see if you can move it to like fuel map four. Do you have a button for that? Yep. Engine map, yeah? Yeah, engine map. Four is set. And we'll see what that does to fuel. If we can get us close to two laps when we cross the line, then you'll have two more times come around. And if need be, we can crank it up. And it doesn't really lose a bunch of time until you get close to like nine or ten. Okay. Matter of fact, move it to seven. Seven is set. And you'll notice your braking times, your markers change a little bit because you're carrying less speed into corners, but just stick with whatever's comfortable because the last thing we'll do is trying to adjust midline and screw it. Alright, Roger. Two laps of fuel, so we should be fine. Go up one more if it was 78. Okay, eight is set. And then all through this section, easy on the pedals. Don't stomp on it because we don't care about acceleration the next few corners. All right. As long as we can keep that 2.1, then we're in good shape. Uh, short shifted, how are we looking? 2.1. Okay, when you cross the line, go to 4. Okay, four is set. We're still 2.1, so I'll watch You're the count. Fumes, mate. Box this lap, please, David. For reference, Scott is still just coming out of the last left in the Porsche asses. We're at 2.0, so you can probably move to map 2. Done. That is Nico coming up behind you. Perfect, just stay right.
You'll probably find, but just go up one more tick on the uh, map when you're at the next strip. Uh, that to be map four or five, whatever we were on, a plus one. I'm at two now. Four? It was at two. Was that right? Oh, never mind. I can tell. Yeah, I'm at four. Yeah, I see it. I won't have to ask anymore. Okay. When you come out of this section, go to five. Dump. However, do not worry. We're still well to the good. I'm just making sure. Okay, am I boxing this lap? Yep. Nope. All the way around again. Okay. That's what we're doing. You're at 1.5 laps of fuel left right now, so you're in a good shot. Race Labs Abs is telling me 0.4. It's wrong. Okay. That's 20 minutes to go. I see I'm you. using iRacing's calculation. I, I see you. Uh, 2.4 gallons left, is that what you say? Yep, 2.5 here. Okay, perfect. Alright, then it's wrong. Yeah, and then that's a go shame. To map 6. Done. And just like last time, the next two laps, easy pedal everywhere, don't stomp it, smooth everything. Okay. You are still 1.3 laps left, and I ran that thing down to 0 0.1 coming in the pits last time, so I know it's accurate. Go to map 8. Dumb. And don't go full throttle anywhere here. How are we looking? You know what? Come in right now because my math, I'll take the shot, but it's 18 and a half minutes from now. My fear was the extra lap if we hit the timer, but still, that's five laps of fuel, which is going to be 20 minutes, so we're well in there. Look out for the pit speed limit. Okay, David, we'll fill Go you back to the to end map of the zero. Race. Done. Checking tires. Tires are not checked. Check your, uh, double check the setting for you. Yep, try the tires are unchecked. I'm unchecking a fast repair just in case they decide to switch tires. 100 yep. meters. 50 meters. I changed the fuel to add to make sure it clears us. It was on 11 something gallons instead of 13, but I would rather take the fuel. Agreed. What's the gaps? Um, check Scott, I'm looking right yep. now. He's just coming through the chicane, so he's going to be passing you in just a second. He's coming up on Watch you, but he will have to pitch Okay. And that is him right behind you. Great. Just don't even pressure. If he wants to do it, let him have it. Remember, the tire's a little warm, a little cooled down, so okay. just keep your head. Because right now he's going to have two choices. This is his, I don't know, I think it's his third lap, which means he's going to come here in another three, which is, what, 12 minutes? Yep. So he's either going to have to go to, like, map 11 to try and stretch it. <laughs> So that we're in a perfect spot. Well, he won't know what we're doing either. Well, I suppose he just saw me, actually. Well, we saw him pit, and he's probably like, well, they're pitting, so I caught up. And then everybody's going to have to pit, depending on how he's calculating. 
laps left in time. I don't know. He might. He probably knows because it's inside 20. Yeah. <laughs> And based on how his car is sounding, I think he dialed it way back. Okay. He's getting a little bit of toe from the GT, but he won't be getting it from me. Yeah, but if you look, he's barely catching you and he's got toe. Nice. So we took extra fuel so we can just run at zero map, yeah, the whole way? Yep, zero to the end. Perfect. Definitely still on it. He's catching me now. But again, just nice and easy. Okay. And he can have the lead for a couple of laps for sure. Fuel calculation right left. now says so 6.5 laps, so that's a minimum of 24 minutes. We are well, well with good at whatever we want. See him show the nose. Okay, David, don't let this guy distract you. He's going. Let him have it. Oh, God. something to happen. You might want to move over and breathe it and let him have it. Yeah, make it Clear obvious. Left. Clear left. Perfect. Perfect. Last thing we want to do is have him push it away. and kick us both out. Couldn't agree more. The car behind's pitting. Six five last time he's on. He's not saying Okay. I'll have toe, so I'll just manage the gap. Smith ahead is increasing. It's now one point zero seconds. We might have three more laps, maybe. All right. Which is really close. Do you think there's a chance he can make it? I think so, yeah. It's pretty close. It's looking like every sixth lap he's coming in. Okay. And this is his third one, so he'll have three more laps after this, which will be right about that 12 minutes. Depends on where the white flag falls.
So Smith ahead is now 1.7 seconds. David, keep doing what you're doing. This is spot on. Ten yeah, minutes to go. Sure that's ten go. minutes left. Because that's ten minutes to go, and we still got probably another three laps. Heads up, there's a car rejoining. Okay, I'll do what I can. Me yeah, too. Not a good deal. Pigman's is way back, so as long as we don't bend the car, we're still good too. <sighs> I need a small slowdown, it'll be gone. We need to slow down and give back some time. Yellow flag, watch out. Keep it wide, keep it high. Be clear. Okay, slow down's gone. Speaker stay 24 seconds back, and he's in the pits, and he was P3. Okay. Brian Pigman's is a minute 10, so right. just hanging out here. Okay. The gap to Smith in front is now 4.6. My bad. When I saw him coming in, I'm like, oh, it's only five laps for fuel, I thought. Maybe the six, but it looks like he's got a seven gap, so totally thought he was going to be about seven minutes short, and he wasn't. He's going to be good for sure. Yeah, no bad. It's a, he's got great pace at the moment. I'm super impressed. I'll, I'll see what I can do. That's the only downside is if it's a team event and you know it's not teams, that's kind of rough because you don't sure, have any yeah. of the. But on the plus side, we did have a high car count, so it wasn't really boring. Yep. Thanks, Ian. Slow down or what? But if you just you cut the lead in half. Yep. If he's trying to fuel save, I don't want him to. I need to fill his mirrors. Yeah, definitely. Just don't overdrive it, but definitely put some pressure on it. It's far easier to chase him. Yeah, he's than lifting. Needs to be the rabbit. Good. If he gets you the door, Smith. take it back. Head is now 0.6. Which is great because that means he's concerned about that white flag lap, maybe. Ooh, watch it, watch it. Yeah, I was just showing it to scare him. I wasn't going to go. Yeah, good job. Let's keep him honest. Yeah. 
We got a race! <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. Yeah. yeah. He was a 4018 there. Watch out. Let's keep it low. Yep. Have him now. Yep, stay right there. Take it if you got it. Okay. Car right. Clear right. He's out. You're good. Well done, David. Great move. Keep it up. Nicely done. He cooked him a little coming off. We should be coming to white flag, so this is a big deal. Okay. You've got half your fuel left. Defend your position. Don't let him through. He's got the toe. Let's see what he's going to do. Looks like he's content. He broke. Ooh, nice and done. Thanks. He's lifting and breathing. Taking that airplane in second gear. Okay. Yeah, he's a uh, fuel must be really nominal because I can see him dropping back on the straights. Yeah, it doesn't sound like he's full throttle. I don't know. Just keep your head, keep it under you. Yep. He could be saving for a last lap move. Yellow flag. You're good, the guys back up and running. I think the Porsche curves where I'll drop him, because I think he's lifting the whole way. That's what he did last lap. It was in yeah, I was catching him hand over fist through that. And I'm slow there. <laughs> yeah. Unless he was trying to save it for this last next lap, yeah. so we'll find out. I'm watching him just drop back out of your screen. I was in far chase. Just don't overdrive it, trying to gap him. Okay, David, hold your nerve. Just keep it smooth. No mistakes. Two minutes to go. Two Still minutes. Still there, half a second, but it's manageable. I think he just got the go-ahead from his fuel calc. Yep, so just Come on. be defensive. The lead. Yep. Car He's right side. Clear right, on your right. Right side's clear. Stick with him for the toe down the straight. If you can, I would almost recommend taking the second straight as long as you keep close. Okay. Ooh, he might have got a slow down. Doesn't seem like it. But he could just be delaying it. You think stay behind for the first straight? Yeah. Uh, no, he was still on the curb. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. 
stay here, make sure you get the exit, and try and take it on the next one. There you go. Stay on it. And if he's going to go left side to try and hold the inside, you've got the better line on the exit of the next corner. Yeah, just go alongside him. Put him in a bad okay. spot. Nothing else, he's got to do that, overcook it, and now you got him. Right side. Brilliant, brilliant. Thanks. Hold your line. Still there. If you take it a little early, right you might get him on a crossover. Oh, I tried. <laughs> Damn, stomped. Yeah, I saw it. It's alright. I mean, we're still in one good place. Gap to Smith ahead is increasing. Next guy behind us is a minute and three back, so as long as you don't make it so you can't get back to the pitch, you can do whatever you need. Ah, uh, sorry, Terry. Great stuff, mate. Yeah, I just uh. I'm pleased though, mate. You did so well. <laughs> great drive, Scott. Oh, I'm on team. Huh? It won't let me switch to drivers. Only admin, crew, race control. Yeah, it won't let me switch out. Are you able to? Yeah, let me see. Oh, mine. Great driving from Scott. Kudos to Nico for winning his split. Kudos to Scott. Um, <laughs> well, I signed up for a race. Uh, Terry, you did amazing, man. Sorry I couldn't uh, bring the product home. Well, I, I knew it going in. We are in our perfect P2. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. It was it was great fun. And it was, part, I mean, if I wouldn't have miscalculated the fuel he had left and we didn't burn eight seconds on those last couple of laps, we probably would have been up. So yeah, it's true. a bit my fault. All right, I'm getting out of the car. <sighs> Thank you, car, though. Car did great. Ah, oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Uh, right, I'll be back in a moment, Terry. Yeah, I'm going to hop out. Alright, guys, let's take a look at the results. Uh, so, let's bring it over. It deserves front and centre screen. So, Nico in the HPD, kudos. Uh, followed by Steve, who set all this up. So, thanks, man. Oh. Was it Paul Smith? Uh, let me just check the names. Absolutely uh, 
<sighs> he did amazing. Is it Scott? Let me just check. Sorry. Uh, who won? <laughs> sorry. He had so much concentration. Yeah, it was Scott Smith. Okay. Yeah, kudos, man. Um, yeah, nothing I could do. It was... Um, Terry drove an amazing race, and I tried to... I tried to bring the final product home, but um, it is what it is. I um, was super proud um, to be Terry's teammate, and I've a lot, a lot to learn. That Le Mans is uh, super intense, <laughs> and that car is super intense. But um, oh, I'm really proud of everyone, and uh, I love my Discord group, and they're the best to drive. Well, what a clean race! Um, I hope Nico is right after that crash, but um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing the next team race and as I say thanks for Stephen for sending it up a slacker in discord and Terry for being my teammate the impeccable monster that polled and gapped everyone and um, our driver swap time plus uh, me uh, and uh, you know Scott drove well you guys saw what a racer he managed to save fuel and uh, bring the product home so yeah I couldn't be happier and yeah kudos to Scott I uh, will be checking out after the race how all you guys got on, because I didn't get to see all your races. Obviously, I only got to see from my perspective, but two Scots and a Nico. Kudos. Very impressed. All right, guys, I am going to go um, shower twice, cool down, and do something a little bit more relaxing, because, uh, yeah, that really, uh, well, it meant a lot to me. I hope that comes across. I wasn't just uh, nervous because I didn't trust myself. It was nervous because it meant a lot to me. All right. Thank you all for the support, and uh, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see my next video, sub. If you want to know when my next video drops, that's the bell notification. Other than that, thank you very much, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.